They really are the best recipe I've tried. And we picked up some semi-sweet chocolate chips for cookies. I wanted to show you guys what I got for Christmas. Uh, and then they have a red stitching. Lastly is this really cute leather vest. I wasn't feeling good and I was diagnosed with... decided to make frijoles charros and brisket sorry my Ooh. my stove is very dirty but the brisket it's right there let me show you the frijoles charros this is the way my mom makes them we really like the way that she makes them so i asked for her recipe but it's just the beans and then you need chorizo um a can of the curtidos and then chicharrones, weenies, bacon, cilantro, tomato, and onion. And I'm thinking about making a video of how she makes them. Those chicharrones are not supposed to be healthy. Close up. And they came out so good. And now we're just waiting on the brisket. I bought these really cute glass containers for my flour, my sugar, and they were only $5. Also, I did buy these from Amazon, but they look so cute. And I'm going to try to make chocolate chip cookies because I still haven't found a recipe that it's really good i've tried multiple and honestly i just can't find one but i'm hoping that this one's actually good so here i already added the flour the recipe asked for one and one fourth cups of flour so i already added that here so asked for melted butter half a cup of melted butter so i'm gonna melt it and then you have to let it cool off so I'm going to do that first and then I'm going to continue adding all the dry ingredients. Now I'm adding half a teaspoon of baking soda. Now I'm adding half a teaspoon of baking powder. Now I'm adding three fourths teaspoons of salt. I'm using sea salt. And now we're going to whisk.
the best chocolate chip recipe that I've tried. I'm gonna link it down below. And it came out so perfect. You can see the sea salt right there. It did say to add more chocolate chips on the top, but I didn't have any more chocolate chips because some of the cookies were missing some chocolate chips. But other than that, they are the best recipe I've tried. We're crunchy on the outside. And nice and gooey on the inside. You can see those chocolate chip. They're just so perfect. I am going to try it again, but with the Trader Joe's chocolate chips. I wanted to show you guys the coffee that we've been drinking. This is the Texas Pecan. I do get my decaf because I'm very sensitive to caffeine, but we get it at HEB and it's really good you it has like a pecan like aftertaste and it's just so good um i'm not sure if they sell it anywhere else well probably not because it's by heb but it's really good if you guys have an heb near you you should give it a try also i want to show you guys what we picked up at trader joe's it is super cold today it's like 13 14 degrees outside and we wanted to make some soup later on we either might make it today or eat leftovers from yesterday and make it tomorrow but these cheese puffs for indy we picked up some bananas i really like this linguine pasta indy really likes it and it's only 99 cents which is really good Also, I have a really bad like rash on my hand. We got Indy some organic chicken nuggets. Of course, we picked up Indy some ice cream cones. This is the tortellini pasta that we use for our soup. It's the spinach tortellini and oh my god, this is so good. We've already made this pasta before and it was really good. And I was craving it, so I wanted to make it again. We also picked up a couple of yogurts for Indy. She really likes the strawberry Greek non-fat yogurt um, from Trader Joe's. And lastly, I finally picked up some semi-sweet chocolate chips for cookies. So I can't wait to try these. Today is really cold here in Dallas. This morning we woke up to snow and it looks so pretty. It's been super cold this whole weekend, so we didn't do much. I wanted to show you guys what I got for Christmas and i got a couple of gift cards um some clothes i got three gift cards i got a gift card for target and then i also got a sephora gift card and a lululemon gift card um i am so thankful for everything that my family got me i love everything i also got two of these um body sprays and i got number 40 and number 68 number 40 smells really good it says it's a black amber plum in vanilla woods and you can smell the vanilla and I love it. This one's my favorite. It smells like oh, so good. I love it. I haven't opened this one yet. Let's see what it smells like. This one it says is a Brazilian jasmine and pink dragon fruit. I've seen this all over TikTok and I mentioned it to my sister and she got me two of them. Let me see what this one smells like. Oh, this one this one smells like fruity this one smells fruity this one smells more of like a vanilla this one smells like like dragon fruit like fruity oh, but it smells really good as well my fiance got me a pair of uggs i had been wanting these for a long time and they were sold out everywhere but my fiance was able to get them on stock x and i've already worn them but they are the, let me see what they're called. These are the Taz, the Ugg Taz. And he got them in a size eight, which is um, my true size. Um, I did a lot of research and I 
would see a lot of reviews girls saying to size up some other people were saying to size down because i purchased the ugg dupes from target i noticed that whenever you walk the back of your foot comes out so i knew that i wasn't going to size up because that meant that it was just gonna you know come out even more because there's no half sizes so it was either an eight or a nine so i decided to go with my true size which is an eight and i am glad that i did but they're so cute i love them so much um i like i said i wore them already they say ox and then they have the red stitching i really really like them and i am so happy that he got them for me um he did have to pay a little bit more I ended up paying 200 dollars for them well, around christmas and stuff if you need a pair of shoes and you know you can always check goat or stock x and that's where he found them so moving on i did get a, two pairs of leggings from victoria's secret um i ended up getting these that have like a white line going all the way down these remind me of a pair of leggings that i have from fabletics and um these are a size medium these don't have that much stretch i don't say the name of the style but um, I'll link them down below. I'm gonna link everything down below if I can find it. These I actually kept them a medium and the other pair I did size down to a small because these have more stretch to them. I went to go exchange them and they did have a lot of sizes in stock so I ended up picking them up in a small. Next I ended up getting this beautiful scarf. It's so pretty. It's from H&M. so big. It's huge. It's really really long and big and very very soft i wore it yesterday when we went out to trader joe's and it was 13 degrees outside so i wore this one and i also wore that big fabletics jacket that i showed you guys in my previous video and oh my god it kept me so warm and it's just so beautiful and i really like it um i had been wanting a scarf like a long big scarf like this one and i wasn't able to find one even with this shirt it looks super cute i also got this really cute jacket from old navy it's so pretty it's a brown leather puffer jacket it's a size small i am glad that my mom got it for me in a size small because honestly i feel like i don't have room and the only thing about it is that i have very long arms and i feel like it's kind of short right here on the arms for me but other than that, I really, really like it. I think it's so cute. Next is this leather jacket from Zara. It's this distressed leather jacket. I know a lot of people are canceling Zara right now. And I decided to keep these things because they were given to me. If the camera is moving, I'm sorry, it's Indy. She's right here with me and she's like messing with the camera. This is how the jacket looks. Also, I have the same is issue as the other jacket um my arms are too long i've always had this issue with my arms and also with my pants i always have to get them long and it's this really pretty distressed leather jacket i love it so much like i said my family knows me very well and i really like it it's really nice really good material lastly is this really cute leather vest uh i love this vest it's so nice reminds me of the puffer jacket but in a vest this is how it looks on it looks so cute it also has pockets and it's so pretty it even looks cute with what i'm wearing right now but this is so pretty i really like it so with the target gift card i did buy this beautiful glass mixing bowl set it comes with four mixing bowls and four lids but to be honest, I don't plan on using the lids. They do come in like these really pretty colors. I've been baking a lot recently. I needed some good mixing bowls. I have other bowls, but some of the recipes require you to use a glass bowl. So when I saw this set, um, I decided to pick it up. It was only $20. And this is how it looks. Thank you. Indy's hopping is like I said it comes with really cute lids but I'm not planning on using the lids it comes with four bowls if this is the large and the this is the lid for the large this one is the medium this is the lid for the medium it's this is really pretty green 
this is the third one and this is the lid for the third one this really pretty color i love this one i wish they were all this color and lastly it, it comes with this one right here i've been trying a lot of different chocolate chip recipes because i love chocolate chips and i just haven't been able to find one that i really like i tried like three or four and they were honestly a fail like they were always you know oh this is the best chocolate chip cookie that you'll ever try but it was a lie <laughs> i found this recipe on tiktok and what I liked about it was that it didn't require you to chill the dough because I am a very impatient person and when they tell me that I have to chill the dough honestly like it just kind of like uh you know makes me not want to try it anymore because I don't want to wait till the following day or sometimes they even tell you to chill the dough for 48 hours it's annoying when you have to chill the dough you're craving a cookie and you don't want to wait till the next day to eat it the girl who created the recipe actually created the recipe for those of us who don't like to wait till the next day and chill the dough so her recipe doesn't require for you to chill the dough which is why it made me want to try it and let me tell you guys that this is the best chocolate chip recipe that i've ever tried the cookies are just so good I did um include a clip of me making the cookies i'll include the girls tiktok and um so you guys can check her recipes out i do want to try her cinnamon rolls i do want to bake cinnamon rolls and that is the reason why i ended up getting these bowls because it requires for you to leave the dough in a glass bowl and rest for like two hours so yeah so i need to wash these i want to record me making the cinnamon rolls um but i'll also include her recipe so you guys can check it out i am so happy to be back i know last year i said that i was going to film a lot more often and then a lot of things happened um also i want to let you guys know that i am going to start working out again which i am so excited um, i haven't worked out in over a year and a half um when indy was born i did i did work out a little bit after she was born and then the the, the year after um we moved over here i stopped working out because i wasn't feeling good and i decided to go to the doctor and i was diagnosed with pots um, if you guys don't know what POTS is, it's postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. It's hard, you know, dealing with POTS and moving away from my family. Um, but that's going to be another video. I want to have a sit down when I start working out and letting you guys know how it's going. It's also been very hard, you know, having POTS and having a toddler because there were times that I did not want to get out of bed. And the fact, you know, I have to take care of a toddler who doesn't stop all day. It was, it was very, very hard. But thankfully, I've seen multiple doctors and I finally found a doctor who's been able to help me. And I've been feeling a lot better. So our gym is set to open, I think, next month. So I am so excited to bring you guys along with me to start this new journey of working out, eating healthier. Sorry guys, my phone turned off, but that's it for today. And I also forgot to mention that I baked some conchas the other day. They came out so good. It was a very long process, very time consuming, but they came out really, really good. I do want to make them again, but this time instead of using shortening i want to use butter and see how they taste i've noticed that every time that i eat something that has shortening in it uh, it gives me really bad heartburn but that's it for today thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye